Welcome to this overview of the Monolithics Complete Library. Using the Monolithics Library can save you a great deal of money by eliminating the need for costly equipment, reducing the number of PCB board spins and design iterations, as well as improve your development schedule and productivity. All of our models are available as one vast collection. Our library is constantly being updated to support new EDA software versions, as well as to include new models. So what are some of the advantages of using the model ethics library? Our models are measured and extracted using consistent techniques, as well as all of our models being measurement validated and coming with complete documentation and professional support. We support a number of different EDA software tools, and we also offer multi-simulator license options as well. The Model Ethics Complete Library is Model Ethics' premier product. The Complete Library is comprised of the CLR Library, which contains resistors, inductors, and capacitor component models. These models are substrate scalable, part value scalable, compatible with statistical analyses, and also have advanced pad features. The NLD Library contains our nonlinear diode models for components such as varactor, pin, and Schottky diodes. These models are also substrate scalable but include bias dependence and temperature dependence as well. The NLT library contains our nonlinear transistor models. These models also feature substrate scaling, temperature, and bias dependence. These models are also compatible with high power and noise analyses. Finally, our SLC library is comprised of system level component models for devices such as amplifiers, attenuators, filters, and transformers, to name a few. A key feature of model ethics models are their substrate scalability. A model's substrate scalability is evaluated based on the H over ER ratio range, so this is the height of a substrate divided by its dielectric constant. To take advantage of substrate scalability, the user simply needs to define the substrate in their schematic, and model performance will change as these parameters are varied. In this plot, the model represented by the red, blue, and green solid traces aligns well with measurement data, shown with symbols. Compare this to the vendor S2P file, which is shown with a black bold trace. It can be seen here that substrate has a large effect on part performance. If a vendor S2P file is used in a simulation of a different substrate, then an accurate simulation may not be possible. Another advantage of models over S2P files is the avoidance of extrapolation errors. Seen on the plot on the left, when the simulation exceeds the highest measured frequency of the S parameter data file, it could be extrapolated to a flat line, as seen here, or it could even go non-physical, going to positive S parameters, depending on how the simulation is set up. A similar problem exists at low frequency. When the lowest frequency data point of the S2P file is exceeded, the simulator will simply extrapolate the performance as a straight line. A microwave global model is associated with an entire family of parts. Each family pertains to a given body style and may cover component values that cover over two to three decades. Using a single microwave global model improves the efficiency of circuit design, as you can control the part value using a single parameter that can be scaled, tuned, or optimized. Each model ethics model, both passive and active, have an associated data sheet that contains detailed information about the models, including the development details, model features, model to measurement comparisons, reference planes, validation ranges, and more. In this example, we go over a 30 watt power amplifier analysis. On the left-hand side, we first compare measured data for a Corvo transistor device against the model ethics nonlinear model available in our Corvo GAN library. Next, we compare simulations of the input and output matching networks against measured data. Finally, on the right-hand side, we perform a complete analysis of the power amplifier combining the input and output matching networks along with the nonlinear transistor model to perform a broadband S-parameter sweep as well as a power sweep. Note the excellent correlation between simulation and measurement for both. Model Ethics also offers the Millimeter Wave and 5G library. This is a special sub-library containing models that are validated to a minimum of 30 gigahertz. Model Ethics offers the complete plus 3D library for ANSYS HFSS. Currently, this library contains the full CLR library plus all available 3D geometry models for HFSS. All models are documented with a model information data sheet, and the 3D models are based on physical dimensions and material properties and set up for full wave EM simulation. Once again, all of our models are measurement validated to ensure accuracy. To protect manufacturer IP, Monolithics 3D geometry models are encrypted as well. Monolithics offers many different licensing options for their products. 
we have different license types as well as purchase options to best customize the model ethics library to your needs. You can request a free trial today by going to the Model Ethics website and clicking on the free trial button. Please contact Sales at Model Ethics with any questions. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Please let us know if you have any questions or if we may be of assistance.